ever been in a car and been like, man, there are a lot of things in this car? Well, all those things from disc brakes to displays were purposely put there by a team of engineers and designers and led by people like our next guest, Joanne Letty. Since the birth of the car more than 130 years ago, mechanical engineers have been driving automotive technology into the 21st century. And these days, we have self-driving vehicles with computers, GPS, and plenty of gadgets at our fingertips. Over the last three decades, Joanne Letty has been behind the wheel for many of these awesome advancements. As an engineer, Joanne helps create General Motors infotainment systems. I was raised in a family of engineers surrounded by cars. We had everything from my dad's luxury vehicle to my brother's souped up Nova with the big racing wheels in the back. And as I continue in this industry, I see more and more women participating in the automotive space. And I think that's really important because we have a different perspective of what we expect from our vehicles. Today, Joanne will explain the design process and how her team goes from a creative concept to an actual car you can drive. The first step is for the design team to come up with visions. Those initial design concepts are explored through a series of computer-generated sketches. Next, a small selection of the sketches are sculpted into half-sized clay models. After careful review, the team creates full-scale, life-sized models of a select few designs. It's all about taking an idea and making it a reality. And that's where Joanne comes in, engineering the new instrument panel, which posed a steep challenge due to its thin, curving shape. Traditional flat panel displays like LCD and LED screens require a built-in light source to illuminate the images, making them thick and rigid. So exploring a new technology was the way forward. Enter the OLED display. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. Instead of a backlight to illuminate images, OLEDs use super thin layers of carbon-based organic material that emit bright light in response to electrical current. And Joanne and her team discovered that if you replace the glass normally found in an OLED screen with plastic, they were able to create their desired curve. An OLED display does not require a light source. It's paper thin and it's flexible. Here is our OLED display. It's super thin and curved. The OLED acts as a semiconductor in a process called electrophosphorescence, where electrons give up energy in the form of light. This technology is used in smartphones, TVs, laptops, and a bunch of other applications, including automobiles. One of the many benefits of the OLED display is the ability to control each pixel individually. Pixel dimming, as it's known, produces extremely high contrast ratios by allowing the brightness of millions of pixels to be controlled independently. With an LCD display that requires a backlight, you will never achieve a true black. It will always be a shade of gray. And engineers like Joanne and her team continue to advance the technology. The light control film that is part of our OLED display was engineered to eliminate any light coming from the display from reflecting into the windshield. In a traditional display, a hood over top of the display would be required. Of course, the best part of turning a sketch into an SUV is getting out on the road. Have fun, Joanne.